Hey, what's up guys? Synapse here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to import a Minecraft map into Cinema 4D. Just check in the description for more information on the software that you need. Uh, if you guys like this video and you want to support the channel, please subscribe to help me reach my subscription goal. Let me know what you want to see in the next tutorial. Enjoy. This will work in just about any 3D program because we're going to export as a .obj. So whatever 3D program you have, if it supports OBJ, you should be good to go. Uh, the software that I'm going to be using to export the maps is called Mineways. So let me open up Mineways. And uh, this is what Mineways looks like. And we got to choose which world we want to open. So which world should we go? Where should we go? Who's coming with me? Ooh, there's Ice Crown. Oh my gosh, those are all of the maps from Hypixel. Cool. You can actually uh, go into the map like that and browse it. Let's do a different one. How about, what is Dig Site? Hey, this one's really cool. Yeah, Dig Site. That's a really fun map for QuakeCraft. This is QuakeCraft on Hypixel. This will do. So now what we got to do is select a region. And I'm going to right click on this region right here. And I'm going to select basically the entire map because it's a small map. But if you were working with a really large map, you just select the region you're interested in. And there's a slider that says max height, lower depth. All of that seems fine. Then we're going to go over here, export for rendering. So I'm going to make a custom folder and I'll call this dig site. I'm going to save it here. Now, the next window that comes up is going to have a bunch of options for a whole bunch of stuff. What does all this stuff mean? It's pretty complicated. I don't know. There's all things to click. You have a whole bunch of things you can click or unclick. Lots of stuff. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave it default. Um, some things you might be interested in. Right there, there's a checkbox that says individual blocks. I highly suggest you do not check that. All right, you want to instead make sure that's unchecked and make sure export lesser blocks is checked. And that's going to make it much easier to manage this large 3D world. If you select individual blocks, every block is going to be exported as its own block and your Cinema 4D is not going to be very happy with you. All right, trust me. There are some advantages to using individual blocks though, like if you want to do an explosion, if you want to like uh, explode a wall, like I did in the Team Crafted intro, where uh, Husky Mudkips is punching a zombie out of a wall and the wall just explodes as a Husky who is has a, a skin like the Hulk, where Husky's the Hulk. He just comes out of a wall punching a zombie and all of the blocks are just shattering out. Um, then you would have to use individual blocks. That's what I did for that intro. But for now, I'm just gonna leave all of this default. I just wanted to talk about it a little bit uh, so that you are confident when you hit that OK button. And then the program does something and stuff is happening. Presumably, let us presume things are happening. Now, let me go find that folder that I just made. Where is it? Where is he? Oh, uh, okay, right there. And I spelled, oh my god, I spelled that wrong. Sue me! Now I'm going to double click on dig site obj because that's what we do when we want to open stuff up. We double click on it. Here it is, we're almost there. And it asks what scale you want to export it. Uh, this is up to you what your scaling is. For consistency, I think I exported a lot of things at 10, so a lot of times I'll scale it up to 10. If things are too small, then you might want to scale it up, but whatever. Uh, I scaled that up just a tad. And here's the map, but it doesn't have any textures. Why doesn't it have any textures? Well, I'm glad you asked because we haven't textured it yet. So I'm going to make sure I'm in standard mode here. Now I can select them all. Well, let me, let me open one up first. Select them all. And then I'm going to turn specular off. And under the color tab, I'm going to hit that texture button. 
Oh yeah, we're so close, we're so close. Now we're gonna navigate to the export folder and select Dixite RGB. Bam! Now it's there. Now some of these objects have alpha. If you go down here to alpha and you check that, all of these are still selected. So I can check that and enable alpha for all of them. RGBA. There we go. That's the right one. It wasn't alpha. It was RGBA instead. And now we can see through them. One more thing we've got to change. Here's a little secret magic that other people might not tell you. But Synapse is going to tell you here. It's a little secret. I share all of the underground secrets for you guys. Shh. Don't tell anyone. Change the sampling from MIP to none and also do that for the color version as well. Now you know everything. The cat is out of the bag. Now you can make epic Minecraft animations. There it is. By request. Now we have the entire map in Cinema 4D and we can run around here, navigate around. I'm gonna take all of these layers and I'm gonna put them into their own group. I'll call this the dig site and I'm gonna save it as a C4D file. All right, that's it for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit me up with a like and if you wanna support the channel, please subscribe. Good luck and have fun.